We are so happy to have Islanders uh, forward Ryan Pollock joining us now. And Ryan, thanks so much for taking the time for us here on NHL tonight. What a crazy season and I'm sure off season for you as well. So just tell me what the biggest difference you think is so far with, you know, having no fans in the stands, having a compressed schedule and also playing most teams two consecutive games. Yeah, it's uh, it's definitely a little bit different. Um, obviously, uh, a different off season, um, just the way, you know, training went, um, you know, I think some guys, uh, you know, had some more lockdowns that they had to deal with and maybe others, but and then a, with a quick training camp and, you know, being back and playing in empty buildings and, you know, those little mini series is, you know, against, uh, your division, it's, it's different year, but I think, um, obviously it can make up for some exciting matchups as well. You know, Ryan, I was just thinking back to, to the finals from last year and the way your group was able to kind of bounce back from a rough outing versus Tampa Bay. And then, you know, kind of contrast that with the start of this year, tough outing versus the Rangers, but you come right back and answer that with a really strong win over Boston. We made this point last night. I'm curious to have you talk about it. Do you feel like just the way your club is built, again, I think you're one of the, the, the deepest teams, just lines one through four. Being that deep and kind of spreading the responsibility across four lines does that make your group a little bit more resilient a little a little closer to stable game to game yeah I, I think so I mean you know we have a pretty veteran team and you know some guys that have been around a long time that you know kind of lead us um, in the right way and it, it, I think that that helps and you know I think you know you we realize that you know after you might have a bad game that you know you have to leave it behind you and you know learn from it and just kind of move forward and I think that's kind of our mindset um, a lot of nights. Hey, uh, Ryan, Bruce Poudreau here. He sort of stole my question a little bit, but <laughs> you guys have always been known by, by as a great defensive team. But, I mean, I look at your lineup, and people say, well, they, we don't have the dynamic scores, we don't have this. Does it ever bug you guys that they don't think that you guys got talent enough to score? Because I think you do. One, lines one through four are as good as any, yeah. any lines in the league. And if I was a uh, New York Islander, I'd say, man, Give us some, give us some kudos because we can score. Yeah, no, I agree. I think, uh, like you said, we're we're kind of everyone always says how defensive we are and you know where we're going to find that extra scoring. But um, I think we have we have that skill. We have those guys that can score, and and we have the third line and the fourth line that uh, can score too, and and they chip in. But um, you know, I think we, uh, you know, as a group, we're kind of fine with, you know, kind of that underdog mentality and, and just, uh, you know, trying to prove people wrong. And, um, you know, I think that's kind of how we've we've looked at it the past couple of years. And, you know, we've been able to kind of have success that way. And we're going to, you know, keep building that way. Ryan, a good, uh, a great deep run last year to the conference finals. Anytime a group goes through an experience like that, there's always something to learn. Question for you is, what did your Islanders learn and what will we see uh, you apply to, to this iteration of the New York Islanders? What can we be watching for that maybe is an improvement or, or something different about this year's New York Islanders? Well, I, I think, um, you know, honestly, I think, you know, our, our goal is to, you know, just kind of keep building. And I think when you get to the playoffs and, and, you know, you get that far, you just realize how tight it is and how, you know, one little mistake or one little fine detail that, you know, isn't, uh, you know, taken care of how, how it can cost you. Um, and, you know, I think uh, you, you learn those le lessons quick and, and you realize, you know, how close, really are to you know living our dream and and you know how how much it takes to get there so um obviously i think the guys are are motivated and you know we're excited to have this season started and you know we're, we're ready to take another step so ryan i wasn't sure if it was a tattoo or uh, maybe an earring that you had going on the left ear there but i'm being told you took a puck right <laughs> to the ear the other night and i'm guessing that's the residual effect of that how are you feeling yeah, I, uh, I, I did take one. Um, I, I'm good, uh, obviously. How many stitches? Yeah. I think there's about 17. Let it us was, see uh, this. <laughs> was, uh, I thought it was an earring. Oh, okay. Oh, my gosh. Okay, Not yeah. for the faint of heart. Sorry. Not for the faint of heart. <laughs> 17. <laughs> Woo. Yeah. But you're okay. Yeah, all good. You hear okay? Everything's good. <laughs> what? 
Yes. <laughs> exactly. Can you repeat that question? Oh, man, that's awesome. Uh, anything else, Coach? No, like, I mean, this to him is nothing compared to what he was uh, injured last year. So he's oh, taken so this and, and he's he's proven to be a warrior and, and that's what he is. Yeah, what's the saying? He's a hockey player. Well, Ryan, thanks so much again for the time. It's been great to see what you guys have done so far and we can't wait to see that journey continue. Yeah, thank you very much. Good luck, Ryan.